Uh, good morning. Uh, hello. Uh, I'm Kosei Yamashita, uh, Sony Corporation. Uh, today, I introduce our uh, new add-on board, uh, development of a compact high-precision IM board for presence uh, using much IM CCS technology. Uh, I'm afraid uh, this is uh, a kind of out of scope of not X, but uh, this is just a new add-on mode application topic. Uh, I'm happy uh, you have an interest in this uh, new add-on board. Uh, this is an overview. Uh, here is my our uh, new prototyping board, uh, multiple uh, IM board for process. Uh, this board has two benefits. Uh, low bias instability and the low noise density. And what is the IMU? Um, this board has a six axis inertial measurement unit IMU. And uh, this board uh, consists of three axis accelerometer and three axis gyroscope. Uh, what are the, the features of IMU? Um, IMU is very unique sensor. Uh, inertial sensors can be used anywhere in the world, uh, such as underwater, uh, deep underground, in the sky, and the space. Uh, inertial forces act uh, equally ev everywhere, so uh, independent of the environment. So this is a uh, IMU uh, benefit. Yes. And what is the IMU used for IMU application? Uh, maybe you have many IMA applications uh, such as game controller and motion capture and uh, AR, VR glass and uh, uh, image stabilization, drone and navigation system and robot. So uh, now uh, IMU are very uh, popular uh, sensors and uh, uh, every year uh, new IMU products uh, 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 we can get new IM products. And uh, uh, one more uh, important function, uh, dead reckoning. Dead reckoning, is, uh, it can be used for, uh, in a place where camera and the GPS are not available. Uh, IMU connect between uh, movement tracking uh, environments such as uh, uh, GPS can't work environment and the SRAM uh, does work environment, but IMU uh, can uh, connect the between movement tracking. Yeah. And uh, uh, what should I? Uh, IMU has uh, open issue, technical open issue. Uh, most uh, big technical issue is drift error. IMU uh, sensing has drift error. Uh, such as position tracking error and uh, uh, posture attitude tracking error. And uh, especially position tracking mm -hmm. error is uh, increasing by time uh, exponentially. So this is a big problem for IMU technology. So uh, we can get two types of IMU uh, in this uh, market. Uh, one is the high precision uh, IMU. This is an industry group industrial grade IMU. Uh, this is type uh, is optical gyroscope, uh, very heavyweight and very uh, expensive uh, millions of yen, but very high accurate, uh, very low noise. And on the other hand, uh, we can get a MEMS type IMU. That's a very small, uh, installed in smartphone and uh, very lightweight and very reasonable, but uh, very big noise. This is a, a big uh, two, two, two types of IMU. So uh, we Sony uh, aimed for a new type of IMU. This IMU uh, has a very uh, high accurate, but small size. This is a, a we are aiming for new type of IMU. So, uh, our technology is focused on, uh, we take a new approach uh, to uh, get a high high accurate uh, IMU. Uh, that is a, a much IMU system technology. Uh, this much IMU system technology has two benefits. One is the uh, low bias instability and the low noise. Uh, here it's uh, 
single IMU has a, a big noise, but multi IMU has a very small noise. And the second benefit is the redundant reliability. Uh, this IMU has uh, multiple, so uh, we can uh, reject the uh, IMU error real time. That's the uh, redundant reliability uh, benefit. And uh, this is our second prototyping, uh, 32 MEMS IMUs on board and uh, real time processing by FPGA. And uh, uh, this research was uh, collaborated with uh, JAXA. JAXA is a Japanese aerospace agency. And uh, we can get a 0 0.5 degree parity bias instability. Uh, this is uh, accuracy is comparable to the industrial fiber optical gyroscope. And uh, this is the third uh, our prototype, uh, more uh, small type, wide size IMU and uh, very small type, but uh, this IMU has a uh, very high accurate uh, comparable to fiber optical gyroscope. Uh, the, using this IMU, we challenge the space mission. Uh, this uh, Sony's SPR box is a mission box, and this box has uh, our uh, 32 IMU combined, uh, multiple IMU and this process. And, uh, uh, we tried to estimate the uh, satellite attitude uh, by this IMU, and we could successfully uh, estimate the attitude uh, in the space. And uh, also, uh, we keep conduct uh, this mission uh, through uh, one half a year uh, without no error, because uh, this IMU has a redundant reliability. So uh, here's our IMU board features, uh, very high, high precision and high uh, robustness. This is our uh, 50 millimeter size and uh, 10 gram weight, very uh, low weight. And this is a noise level graph. Uh, here's a single level noise level, and uh, this is a uh, multiple IMU noise level is uh, blue line, it's a uh, multiple uh, noise level. And uh, please uh, check the uh, earth rotation rate is uh, 50 degree per hour. And uh, our IMU noise level is uh, uh, 0 0.39 uh, degrees per hour. So our IMU board can detect the earth rotation rate easily. So uh, this is uh, just image of earth rotation rate. So uh, our this is just a prototypical IMU. So uh, this IMU uh, can sense the uh, earth rotation uh, real time, and this IMU uh, can find the north direction. Uh, this is the gyro compass technology uh, without no magnetic. Uh, uh, so. Uh, we can find the nodes without a magnetic sensor. Yeah, this is a gyro compass technology. And uh, this board uh, is a very simple uh, configuration uh, connected to its presence uh, by SPI and uh, uh, getting power from presence board. So you can uh, plug it into the presence board and it's ready to go. Uh, very uh easy to use this board and uh, this is a uh, specifications uh detail uh very high dynamic range and very low noise uh gyro sensors is very low noise low noise and the acceleration sensor is also low noise yeah and uh, this is a just a uh, model of uh, IV fusion function uh sony's much imu board it's uh just like a one uh imu so um the sony's presence board has many functions genesis and the camera and the communication device so uh if you can get this board uh you can uh, make a uh, uh, many uh, uh good application with genesis fusion and uh, with camera fusion easily this is our uh, benefit of uh, species farming. And uh, uh, okay. on the last uh, 
we demonstrate uh, inertial navigation system. IMU has a, a function of the inertial navigation system. Inertial navigation system is uh, tracking the uh, car tracking and uh, human tracking. And uh, this is just technology uh, only, uh, IMU only uh, tracking. And uh, this is our simple uh, demonstration board. Uh, spread sense board and IME board and uh, very simple uh, rover, just a hobby class rover. And uh, this is a demonstration video. Uh, this rover uh, tracks the same uh, course uh, over 20, 12 minutes without no drift error. This, this uh, rover works, uh, moves only IMU, no camera, no odometry. Yes, so uh, this is a, a very low drift technology demonstration. And uh, one more, uh, this is a sweep, uh, tire sweep demonstration. Uh, this rover doesn't uh, use a uh, uh, tire odometry, so this rover can <laughs> track their uh, goal mm -hmm. uh, because uh, this IMU uh, only uh, sensing the accelerometer, the gyro sensor. So uh, this uh, tire is uh, sweeps, but well, this uh, rover uh, can keep the uh, tracking. Yeah, this is a new uh, function. OK. And uh, this world has a, a very uh, big potential for new application in the navigation, and drone bridge inspection, and the motion capture, and uh, satellite attitude control. So uh, we have uh, many uh, potential uh, for new application. OK, uh, this is our, my summary. Uh, this is uh, just a prototype. Uh, we are developing a new multiple IM board for process. And uh, this board is uh, up, uh, applied for new applications such as our vehicle and lower and autonomous vehicle and door. Yeah. And uh, we demonstrated uh, this board next door, but uh, it was already finished. So, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Please. Uh, okay. Thank you uh, for your time. Thank you very much for the presentation. It's nice to see that the Natex community gets access to new technologies mm -hmm. that hopefully will be um, open sourced, mm -hmm. or at least the driver will be. Yeah. And my question is if we will be able to, to, to get, get access to the driver and have support for the uh, IMU in Natex mainline. Uh, Are there any plans for that? Yeah, yeah. How, how can I answer it? Uh, not, not X. Yeah. Uh, we provide. Uh, this is uh, just I'm board, and uh, uh, we also uh, release uh, uh, driver software and library software to you. And uh, this maybe not X library. Uh, I'm. I'm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not sure. Yeah, but uh, we can support uh, this board and the software uh, on Natex. Or Super. Board. Looking forward yeah, yeah. to to have support for it and maybe implement yeah. it in the helmet yeah. from Alan or other yeah. uh, cool projects. Maybe a drone. Yeah. Do we have other questions from the room? We have <laughs> quite many questions. From the room, please. Thank you for the presentation. Very surprised. Yeah. I have a lot of many questions. Yeah. As you know, the maps I am have a lot of many errors. Yeah. So you are using the uh, multiple I am you can reduce the error, right? Yeah. So the question is if by using multiple IMUs, you can reduce the error. Yeah, right. Now. We have to speak for the microphone. Uh, I have to repeat the question. Uh, yes. So, uh, what I thought you. I I I thought I thought you used the filter. So with what 
which kind of filter do you use? Ah, uh, okay. Any Ah, uh, yeah, uh, a kind of confidential, but uh, yeah, very, very, very simple uh, <laughs> synthesis algorithm. And uh, uh, you mean the error is a Deutsch error or any other error? Yeah. You mean, yeah. I will also agree because there are many errors. Because uh, yeah. uh, from the, uh, for the deadline, we have ah. some errors. Ah, yeah. Uh, firstly, uh, we uh, calibrate uh, each IMU and uh, we combine uh, each IMU uh, by our special algorithms. And, uh, uh, this broad, uh, very low error and uh, low, uh, low drift. And, uh, also we, uh, applied our software technology, uh, reducing the uh, drift error, uh, for signal processing. Yeah. 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 You mean you use the, some, some filter, some filter. Uh, yeah. A kind of come, come up with it. Yeah. Yeah. When do you expect to sell this order? Uh, uh, in this, after this autumn, this autumn, uh, this fall, uh, this year, the end of this year. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hopefully. 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 <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Ah, uh, paper. Uh, yeah, we uh press released and uh, uh please check Google. Uh, Sony multiple IMU. You can get more information on the yeah internet. Yeah. Do we have other questions, please? The, the IMU is just a commercial one. It's not a special IMU. Uh, can you share a large number? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but. Uh, you, your question with, uh, this IMU. Yeah. Uh, that's just commercial IMU and the uh, very low priced IMU, uh, such as, uh, smart wall inside IMU. Yeah. Can you share the part and number? Ah, uh, okay. Um, uh, not the uh, confidential, but, uh, ST Micro's IMU. Ah, yeah. Okay. okay. It doesn't include magnetometer also. Uh, no, no magnetometer. Only oh, a oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 that's true. Thank you. Yeah. Do we have other questions? Okay. Uh, CD has some questions. <laughs> uh, actually, I, I have one question. Uh, this uh, solution yeah. of using multiples uh, IMU yeah. uh, is not something new. I, I saw something in the past as well. Yeah. But uh, what was the innovation uh, you bring to that? Because there uh, are many algorithms that can be used for, yeah, for that. Yeah. Did you create something new or yeah. something that can improve even more yeah. what exists in the yeah. in the field, or it's basically what you have in in some some papers, some articles already? Ah, uh, yeah. Ah. Uh... Uh, multi-IMU synthesis is very simple, but very difficult, uh, mm -hmm. because, uh, this is just a simple graph. Uh, uh, IMU, uh, two I, two gyroscope, uh, uh, interference each other. You know, uh, gyroscope, uh, uh, oscillates around 20 kilohertz and one uh, gyroscope it oscillates and one, uh, gyroscope oscillates and uh, uh, cross lock each other mm -hmm. and make a uh, uh, beat noise. So uh, very difficult to implement the uh, uh, synthesis. So uh, we implement a, a special uh, signal processing to reducing uh, beat noise. This is uh, yeah, our special technology. And uh, right. this is uh, our paper, IEEE uh, Inertia 2020. Yeah, please check here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, for example, Normally, this technology, when when you read yeah. sequentially, yeah, uh, we are not getting the same data. Even few microseconds, you are read yeah. place some, some yeah. Data. yeah yeah. Uh, this uh, in the middle, this FPGA or this uh, yeah. chip you are using, it do it 
uh, like in parallel, right? Yeah. Almost the almost. I, yes, yes. In real time. Yeah, all, yes, yes. Reading all the. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not sequential. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, each email are not synchronized each other. So uh, this FPGA are uh, parallel uh, requiring yeah. data yeah, and uh, yeah, synchronizing uh, timing and uh, yeah, very uh, yeah. complex yeah, yeah. Uh, implementation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah. It, it read all I knew yes. the thin point. Yeah, the yes, yeah. And uh, re read synthesis. Uh, uh resampling yeah resampling yeah synchronization yeah yeah, yeah. unfortunately not open <laughs> not yet but let's hope they uh, <laughs> you heard in september we get the part number and then maybe we get the driver yeah let, let, I, I think even the the library if some someone wants to use this board this tech yeah. school yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you said that is SPI connected. Yes, yes, so SPI. It should very, be compatible with very, very every simple. Yeah. yeah. Very simple. Well, thank you very much for yeah. presenting this uh, really cool piece of hardware, yeah. and hopefully we get some yeah. to play with. <laughs> hopefully, yeah. <laughs> we expect, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.